This peak represents the level of free radical damage produced by the metabolism of a wild chipmunk. This result is fascinating because it can be linked to its aging rate or how well it's doing in nature. But although it looks great, this peak was not easy to generate. For example, we must avoid tissue degradation at all costs. In the lab, it means processing everything as fast as possible despite our protocol's length or having a lot of samples. In the field, it means to travel back and forth non-stop between the wood, the camp and the lab to store the tissues in the best delays. It's also tricky to get tissue samples in the first place because these cute demons bite and fight when they're being handled. Moreover, it's hard to catch them since they prefer to stay in their burrows when the weather is rainy, cloudy, windy, too hot or too cold. As you can see, numerous obstacles must be overcome to yield the single data point shown earlier. Still, it was fun and worth all the scars on my hands.